Hello everyone, and welcome back to Lumiapedia. My name is Shuvi, and today I'm back to dive into all you'll need to know about our new upcoming test subject, Charlotte. Charlotte, who uses an Arcana, specializes in utilizing light to support her allies all the while neutralizing enemy damage. Charlotte's skills are primarily focused around keeping her allies alive throughout the fight, allowing them to fight for longer periods of time without having to worry too much about their health. Now that we've briefly introduced her, let's take a look at her skills. Charlotte's kit consists of her Q, Light Bear, W, Healing Light, E, a Dash of Hope, R, Divine Intervention, and finally her passive, a Pure Heart. Charlotte's passive is a Pure Heart. Charlotte gains a stack of a Pure Heart every time nearby allies lose HP due to enemy attacks. Allies healed by her gain recovery and a shield per stack. Charlotte's passive becomes better and better over the course of fight as her teammates take damage. Because of this, it will be important to keep her position safe enough from a fight where she can stay alive throughout it, but close enough to where she'll be able to utilize those set stacks on her allies. Her next skill cue is Lightbearer. Charlotte creates a pool and sphere of light at a designated location which lasts for a certain amount of time. The sphere of light flies towards the nearest enemy within range and attaches to them, exploding shortly after and dealing skill damage. Enemies hit are slowed for a few seconds, recovering their movement speed over time. Lightbearer is unique in that it is the only skill in Charlotte's arsenal that does damage. It attaches to an enemy once the pool is on the ground, deals AoE damage upon explosion, then proceeds to slow all enemies caught within the blast radius. Do remember that Lightbearer attaches to the enemy closest to the pool, so place it accordingly. Trying to hit as many enemies with the explosion will be crucial to maximize the efficiency of the skill. Charlotte's W is Healing Light. Charlotte and her ally with the lowest HP are healed by the Healing Light. Charlotte can use the skill to continuously restore HP to her allies. Because the skill targets the ally with the lowest percentage of health, it makes it pretty easy to use during combat. Make sure you use this alongside your passive stacks to maximize healing for your teammates. Her next skill, E, is a Dash of Hope. Charlotte becomes untargetable and dashes to a designated ally, granting them a shield. Charlotte C can be used on allies within a specified range. This creates not only a way to keep her allies alive, but for herself as well thanks to the untargetable and a Dash of Hope being, as its name states, a dash. Since Charlotte is able to target allies across walls, it compensates for the lack of any other external sources of mobility that inhibits Charlotte. Charlotte's R is Divine Intervention. Charlotte manifests a Divine Intervention. After a certain amount of time, nearby allies become invincible for a moment. This skill can be used in various ways to counter threatening enemy skills as well as boosting allies' engagements in fights by granting them invincibility. The activation range of Divine Intervention is limited to Charlotte's surroundings, so it's essential to use it along a Dash of Hope to grant its effects to as many allies as possible. Make sure you keep the cast time in mind. Charlotte might lack an offensive power, but her ability to weave light to sustain her allies makes her an excellent support option that will have her teams back throughout every single fight. Come and join me to welcome her to eternal return. I'm sure you'll enjoy her unparalleled compassion and kind-hearted soul she'll be bringing with her to Lumia Island. That was it for our 73rd character Charlotte, see you next time.